All right, so I'm going to record, uh, or I'm actually doing a recording showing how the statement writer works. So let me pull up my server here. Okay, let's spread this up. Fill my screen. I have a very large screen, so hopefully you can see all this. Okay. So I pulled up the P the PNL inside the QuickBooks demo file. Obviously, as we discussed, we can get current month this year. We can get current month last year and year to date this year. We cannot get last year's. We can't get percentages. Well, we, we could, but it just doesn't um, help you with the report you're looking for. So if we go to reports and we go to the statement writer, it's going to open up a separate program. Which I'll pull up here. And I will go to um, open because I created one earlier. Let me just browse. Let's see where I put it. Put it in a sample directory. Where are you? Sample files. I can put it in here. And I called it current month this year versus current month last year in year to dates. So let me click on this. I'll just hit open. Click happy. Let's see. Open this resolution a little bit. This. I'm on a remote server, so my resolution isn't um, ideal for this, but uh, it should be opening. opening report so right now it is actually pulling in all the data and I'll just scroll to the right a little bit here Actually, scroll. let's take a minute to open it looks like And again, I am working on a remote desktop, so I think there is a lag. But right now, the report opens, opens in Excel, and it has um, month ended. I did this one in June, so month ended June this year, last year, uh, two quarters or year to date June this year, last year. Now, what it does uh, when you first uh, run this report inside the statement writer, it combines any sub accounts. So, um, for example, current truck expenses had a bunch of sub accounts in it. Um, let's see, interest expense did also. So you could see the different accounts here. Now, what we can do is, let's say, I click on professional fees. I can go over to to the properties of this. Scroll down a little bit. Um, let's see, is it? Row properties, I think. Yes. So under professional fees, there is uh, multiple accounts here. If I wanted to, I could select these and go down to manage and then separate them so it won't be combined. I could remove them and put them somewhere else. I could add other accounts that may be somewhere else. So we can combine accounts from, I could select rows and combine them also. I mean, normally you'd set this up once and not have to worry about it. You go in and change the dates here of what you want to see, and um, you'd have your report. So, uh, again, this was probably running a little slow because I am running off a remote server that I'm logged into. Um,
but uh, that's so it's as uh, it's as simple as that you can create reports any columns and rows that you want to do it with um, I could I could even go into here and start making changes I could change I could uh, change the name of it I could open a new one I could save it as something else I could edit this I can modify this um, tools there's some other templates I could have on this so there's a lot I can refresh from QuickBooks it'll actually go in pull the new data so I would typically change the date refresh and have it all so um, you know that's it we can get your report the way you need it we just have to use this tool that again is inside QuickBooks let me go back to quick this QuickBooks version on my local computer QuickBooks statement writer and again you can have all different reports in there so thank you